Luke Cage. When it comes to Marvel Netflix shows, I would say his show would actually be my second favorite after Daredevil. His show was actually pretty interesting and really cool. But yeah, he was nerfed in the show. But for good reason, it was a low budget and he didn't have no super crazy powerful people he needed to fight. So I see why they did that. But how strong is Luke Cage? He's a lot stronger than a lot of you probably think. Now, I will admit... When I was younger, I had some misinformation about Luke Cage. I will admit, I used to think he was like a powerhouse, like on some Superman level stuff. I ain't gonna lie. But then I, you know, I, I that was before I got into comics, of course. But when I got into it, I started to learn about the class system and how that the class system isn't to be taken literally. For example, like Spider Man's is considered a 10 tonner class, class, right? And Luke Cage is considered a 25 tonner class. Now, that doesn't, that doesn't mean Luke Cage is only two times stronger than Spider Man. It doesn't mean Spider Man can lift 10 tons at max. It doesn't mean Luke Cage can lift 25 tons at max. It's just a way to organize the power houses in the comics books or the way to organize how strong certain characters are. With that being said, Luke Cage is definitely stronger than characters like Spider Man. But to what degree? I'm going to go over that in a little bit. How much? stronger is a class 25 character above a class 10 character in strength well it's time to find out well for one he's able to shatter a shirt completely made of steel able to open this massive door made of stone by himself carries a large truck seven blocks with like casual relative ease is actually able to pick up a bulldozer over his head please note that a bulldozer can weigh 108,000 pounds is actually strong enough to prevent an airplane from lifting off Strong enough to hit Captain America's shield so hard, it's actually able to create a sonic attack or a sonic boom, or some would say. This could possibly be an outlier, but I don't know. This was ridiculous. He was actually able to break Invisible Woman's shield. Invisible Woman's shield has endured a lot, guys, so that's why I'm a little skeptical about this one. Probably one of his best feats of all time. He was fighting Proxima Midnight, one of the members of the Black Order. Yes, that Proxima Midnight you saw in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame the movie. He was actually able to cause an earthquake during this fight. Like, what? Casually runs through reinforced steel doors. I did a video on how strong Daredevil is. Daredevil punches Luke Cage and it completely hurts his hand trying to punch Luke Cage. Characters like Deadpool are dancing around him, but despite all the efforts, they can't even phase him a little bit. Even characters like Black Panther strong as blows can't really phase Luke Cage. There's a time he got hit by a car so hard, Luke is barely phased by it at all, destroying the car in the process. Now this is absurd. He was able to take several blasts from Cyclops and doesn't even look impressed. He just looks like it has a blank face. Now, Iron Fist is one of those characters that is probably underrated thanks to his trash Netflix series, but Luke Cage is actually able to take a hit from the comic book Iron Fist, who is actually a beast. Actually gets sent flying and everything, but he gets back up. And boy, when I do that video on Iron Fist, you're going to see why this is impressive because Iron Fist is strong. There's this time he actually survived being punched by Savage Hulk and went through multiple skyscraper buildings. Got back up though. He, there was a time he actually got hit by Bazooka and he was fine afterwards. There's no point in trying to even cut Luke Cage with swords or anything. Same goes for revolvers. Completely tanks bullets that can go through Kevlar. Gets hit by a shotgun actually makes Luke Cage fly, but it doesn't really do nothing other than send him flying. It doesn't even pierce his skin. Surprisingly, surprisingly, he even has some degree of heat resistance. Being able to survive being hit by flames by Human Torch. Some could say this is soup semi-nova. One could think this is a combat speed feat because he's actually able to catch a bullet. But some could, one could say he was like just assuming where he was shooting a bullet and did like aim dodging or some would call it or aim Putting your hand where something is going to go or something like that. Some could even say Luke Cage could even run faster than Captain America saying he could run at like cheetah-like speed. I mean, I I mean that sound I mean this may sound silly, but at the same time, he is a class 25 while Captain America is a class below Spider-Man. And we already don't know Spider-Man can sprint faster than Captain America. And Luke Cage is in a class higher than Spider-Man. So when it comes to pure sprinting speed, this actually makes somewhat sense. If we assume Captain America can sprint 50 miles per hour, we assume Spider-Man can sprint what? 60 70 miles per hour or something like that Luke Cage should be at least 70 60 miles per hour too right there was this time he even showed being resistant to pressure point his opponent is actually surprised Luke Cage is one of those characters that's very hard to scale where he ranges at because his because of his weird tier I like to call his his tier weird because he fights people from all over the place like he'll fight a powerhouse one comic like Namor then he'll fight like somebody like Sabretooth you see what I'm saying there was even a time when Luke Cage was fighting Iron Man. Yeah, that's right. Luke Cage actually fought Iron Man himself one time, and they went head to head. One of the coolest feats. That aqua moment where Luke Cage is actually able to slug it with Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, one of the best sorcerers in the history of history, being a pretty much an Iron Man and Doctor Strange fusion. Luke Cage did pretty well against Doctor Doom, even though in the long run I'm gonna have to go with Doctor Doom with Doctor Doom's cool for power. 
Got to give him credit. Luke Cage don't back down from nobody, even if you are a powerhouse like Namor. Keep note, Namor is a powerhouse. There's a time he even fought Rogue. At the time, she had Captain Marvel, or some would say Miss Marvel's power. Captain Marvel, you know, the one with energy blast, not, not the stretchy one. There's a time he got tackled into a building by the thing and was fine after the whole building falling on him. Before I end this video, I want to get into Luke Cage's probably his best feat out of all the stuff I just listed. There's a time Luke Cage was able to survive a nuclear explosion. There you have it, folks. I tried to dissect and find as many feats as possible, but like I say, he doesn't have that many flashy feats because he's in that what you call a weird tier, but his battle feats are pretty cool. You get to see who he goes against, like fighting characters that are way out of his league physically, like Namor, and actually able to make earthquakes by fighting Proxima Midnight or some of the notable ones. And the fact he was actually have durability enough to hurt the fist of characters like Daredevil, and Daredevil has some feats like cracking brick walls and twirling around 400 pounds like it's nothing yet he's durability wise he cannot hurt him at all i know a lot of you are surprised how strong he's in the comic books compared to his netflix version because you're probably like wow netflix really toned him down and in netflix he got knocked out by a rocket launcher right i know you're probably like wow and like if i had to give an estimation based on his durability and feats that i've shown you here i would estimate he can probably punch hard enough I would say by my calculations, I would say he could probably punch it hard enough to break a mountain or at least pieces or big chunks out of it. I mean, he has made earthquakes and he is durable enough to survive a nuclear explosion. So his durability and attack power shouldn't be that far apart. And the fact that he took hits from Iron Fist. And when you see Iron Fist, I'm going to bring a whole new light to him later on in the future. Iron Fist is a lot stronger than you think. He could take punches from him also. He's gotten tangles with people like Namor and the Hulk. Got sent through buildings by the Hulk. Got back up afterwards without no cuts or bleeding. You know, bullets, sharp objects, none of that stuff does anything to him and things like that strength wise but did you did this shed some light on how strong luke cage is are you surprised that he was able to be this is that he was this strong or do you did did you know this stuff did you know that he was nerfed compared to his netflix version but let me what do you guys think how strong do you think luke cage is did i miss some stuff did i miss some battle feats did i miss some inanimate object feats did i miss some lifting feats if so i'll probably do an updated version if you guys say that but what other characters would you like to see the how-to series from post your comments down below let me know what you all think